Hi, I'm Constable Alan Rosen and I'm joined by Kathy Griffin, our Human Trafficking Director and Survivor of Human Trafficking. Today is a very important day, Human Trafficking Awareness Day. Kathy, I'll turn it over to you. Talk about what your, what your program is here at Precinct 1 and the important role of ending human trafficking. First of all, Constable, let me just thank you for having the ingenious gift to find out that this was so important and that we need to address it head on. That was awesome. But right now, for so long, people have looked at sex trafficking and human trafficking as something that was somebody else's problem. Mm -hmm. But it is not any longer in our backyards, but it is in our front yards and on our front porches. And it is time now that all of us have a major wake up call so that you will be able to understand what this is, why this is, and what's going on in our communities, on every street, and in our households here in Harris County, Texas. It is not okay for us to be number one for human sex trafficking. It's wrong. So here in Precinct 1, we are going to be able to take the lid off, open it up, dissect it, and make sure that everyone is well trained and aware of what it is, what it looks like. Because if you see somebody who can never give you eye-to-eye -eye visual contact, if you see bruises, if you see that a child that was making great grades and all of a sudden they're dropping and they're spending more time on those demonic devices called cell phones with internet and chat sites, it's something wrong with that because you don't really know who your children are talking to. And secondly, it's very important that you understand if your child tells you something and you don't believe it, believe it. Every clue is a fact that we can go in and dissect and let you know if it really is and it really is not a form of sex trafficking. Now, mind you, there are lots of things, Constable, that might appear to look like sex trafficking mm -hmm. because a lot of people are spooked right now. If your child has been gone over the weekend and didn't come back, there's a possibility they were with their friends or they were just being defiant. Mm -hmm. but, there's, but we still need to know that so we can go in, investigate it, look at it, and find out exactly what it is because the traffickers and the pimps are recruiting children to go into the middle schools and the high schools sure. so that they can groom them anywhere from six months up to two years so that they can now be in a multi-trillion dollar business called the sex industry. So let us know. We're available right here at Precinct 1 in our Human Trafficking Division. What's the one thing that people watching this message can do to help stop the widespread problem of human trafficking? If you see something you need to say something. And we are available to be the people that you can say something to. Or you can always contact the National Human Trafficking Hotline. You can go on, you can Google it. We are available. We have got to put an end to this darkness and this human trafficking behind the shadows. Because guess what? It's coming out of the shadows and it's right here in the light. And that it's is modern day slavery. And it's not okay. It's not okay. But here at Precinct 1, we're prepared. And tell us what we've got coming up. Well, uh, we're going to have a, uh, a, a program, a seminar, Behind the Shadows, The Truth About Human Trafficking, on January 29th. Uh, you can RSVP to Erica Davis, who's our Community Outreach Director, at 713-755-3372. Thank you for talking with me. Thank you very much. Beware, it's real.